yet for some reason. I have no clue. I guess we will go and try to kill some more spiders. Our eternal enemy. Even though we are the spider busters. Nothing can stop us. Not these dumb spiders. Not anything. We can defeat it all. Just as long as I don't go crazy. Anyway. Oh. Getting some hiccups. That's weird. Oh, sorry. Had to flip some papers around. Uh, yeah, I got papers right now. I know that's weird. I've just been having some trouble talking, you know, for the whole length of an episode. So I thought I might write down some talking points. You know, in case I ever get lost or something. So far, I don't think it's really been that large of a problem, but, you know, it's just there in case I need it. So we're just gonna bust up a couple more spiders. Just heal up a little bit using that. Actually, let's just drop that. Ooh, man, I am cold. Just dropping motherfuckers. I'm grabbing up silk. Looks like I ran out of uh, juice on the old. Oh well, at least I killed it. Just go ahead and heal up again. I guess let's try to make another spear. Oh, I need some grass. Luckily, grass is in very short supply, but man, I'm surprised. Oh, well, why didn't you auto equip, man? That's dumb. Anyway, so I've been getting in, into Hearthstone. I have no clue why I have done this, but um, so far I have. Come on, Chester. Yeah, I've been getting into Hearthstone. Uh, not too happy about it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm sort of, kind of, getting close to that area that you can get to where you are, you're coming into a game too late, if that makes sense. Um, I'll hit people sometimes who are just so above my skill level that I can't even, like, process it, if that makes sense. I mean, it probably doesn't, but you know. But, you know, it's fine. I'm not having too much trouble, I don't think. Like, uh, you know, I'm having some. I wouldn't say it's the end of the world, but it's not very helpful. Just how far behind I am in some aspects of it. It's very annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. Matchmaking is fine though. I mean, I've been going up against mostly people that are of my skill level. Just, it's been very, like, haphazard with my winnings. But then again, I've decided to not go super heavy with my, um, like, paying. I don't really think I need to pay. So far, I'm 100% fine. It's just, um, you know, smaller other things. And not so much, you know, like the craziness. Like, I know I can spend a whole bunch of money and I can get a bunch of cards. I mean, you can spend like 70 bucks and get about 60 packs, but I don't really feel like that's necessary to the game itself. I mean, come on. That's not necessary. I don't need that many packs in order to be 
sufficiently viable. Come on, that's crazy. Spending that much money on something like that? I mean, I'm probably going to have to spend some money eventually, but I don't have to now, which is the point, I think. Because, I mean, I'm still winning. I'm really close to the, um, oh, what is it? Rank 20? And if you do that in a season, you get a free, um, you get a free card of some sort. I can't even remember what it is. But, you know. I guess I'll cook up these seeds. But, I'm just really enjoying it. It's really weird. I, sh I shouldn't enjoy it as much as I do. But, um, it's just like infectious. When you get that really good power play, it's nothing better. I just don't really know how to describe it. I may have to eat this. Ah, you're being a wimp. Anyway. When you get those really good power plays. I remember one where this guy was whipping me. Like, had a cat of nine tails in one hand. Had, like, some sort of weird, crazy, whatever, kind of vaguely sexual torture device in the other. And he was just whipping me. I was down to three. I hadn't touched him the whole game. And it just came together at one point. It was just perfect. I got just the cards that I needed. And in a matter of two turns, he was dead. 30 health, gone. And that was just great, because he was also one of those douchebags that emotes way too much. Like, well played, after every one of his card plays. You know, just one of those douchebags. But it was a lot of fun. It worked out really well. I don't think it could have done any better. But, um, oh yeah, a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I guess I'll bash open this thing and get some niter while I'm here. Might as well, I guess. I got the pick. But, um, yeah, it's just infectious. I really don't like myself for doing it. And I've expressed this opinion to some of my friends, and they've all laughed. I just feel like they don't really understand. That's probably a thing that you really can't understand. Like, unless you really just get into it and you know all the problems that are inherent within it. Oh, path just keeps going. Hmm. Well, let us on a merry old chase. Looks like there's more... Oh, another chess field. Oh, with a full complement. Wow. Hmm. Oh, God. Tallbird's mad. Tallbird's mad. Just keep going. They'll leave you alone. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. I shouldn't be having as much fun as I'm having, but it's just infectious. It's like a deadly disease. And I hate that I'm stuck in it, because it's going to eventually, I feel like, if I'm not careful, it's going to get me in that loop where I keep buying them because I want to be better, but I can't because I don't want to spend that much money. But, um, yeah, it's going fine. Um, hilariously, if you want to know something funny, because I know that this is just one of the least funny and actually enjoyful um, playthroughs that you can think of. Um, I have actually had just a wonderful time trying to match up one of my friends, <laughs> being a matchmaker. That's why matchmaker was on the list as well, not really about the uh, stuff. Oh. Mermen are about. Well, let's see if we can get through. Another plugged hole. Um, hmm, 
That's weird. Just this tiny little bit of normal forest in the middle of a uh, tentacle. How weird. Man, my my sanity's not doing well. I may want to go home. I'm going to go home. Yeah, I'm going to go home. Hopefully I can get home and I can eat some food and I can just feel better about myself as a person. But anyway, so yeah, um, I don't remember what day it was, but it was just a friend of, a friend of my girlfriend's is doing a college thing where she's going to go to a, um, a Disney World and she's going to, like, work there. I don't know what that's called normally, but that's what she's doing and um, so for her birthday we're going to go down there and we're gonna you know do stuff with her but we're gonna go down to Universal and take her to that because that tends to be more fun oh that's weird um, anyway, we're going to go down to Universal and, um, you know, we're going to provide company for her and, uh, nah, I better use some of that and provide company for her and just, you know, try to have fun. She's never been there before, and we had a really great time when we were there. Okay, so this is a weird recipe. This is for dragon pie. And, um, dragon pie is made with a dragon fruit and three, um, Oh, I'm getting cold? That's weird. I'm a robot. Why am I getting cold? Well, uh, I mean, I didn't notice the blue tinge of winter. That's weird. I don't know if you see it around the edge of my screen. It looks like some like, ice freezing up. I don't know if that's just because I'm getting cold or something like that. But anyway, yep, see? Dragon pie. Rightly so. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna put that, 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 and that. So I'm gonna make a board and hopefully just have a good time. Having a good time, having a good time. So I'm back home. Things are going well. I've got a buttload. Of, oh, it stacks to 40. Um, I got a buttload of those. Put some of that in there. Ah, more meatballs. Cool. So, that, that. Um, I'll leave it at that. Um, I need more. I really don't know what to add, to be honest. I guess I'll bait some traps if I can. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just leave it to rot. I don't need it anyway. Anyway, so... It's gonna be your birthday when she's down there, because she's gonna be there for about seven months. You know, good long time. And... Um, So, we're going to take time out of our busy schedule and we're going to take a big vacation down to Universal Studios. But most of Universal Studios is sort of two-person rides, 
like two by two. And uh, we thought it wouldn't be that great if we went there and, you know, she didn't have anybody to go with. Um, so we're trying to set her up with a friend of mine so that they can sort of be chummy with each other at least to, you know, at least have them know each other enough to get away with it. Um, you know, so it's not so weird. Like, it'll be weird. You know. No one doubts that. I don't think that's really, like, a thing. But, um... Oh! It has turned into winter. Ah, dang. I am not prepared at all. Um, I gotta go on the hunt. I gotta get some more food. Oh, let's make sure an eye plant hasn't popped up anywhere. It's usually a nice happy surprise, but sometimes it can be very unhelpful for your life if you run into it. Yeah, I need some more eye plants. Uh, I mean... I need to do the hunt, basically. Because that'll be a big injection of meat. <laughs> meat injection. Sorry. Um, it'll be a big injection of meat, and I'll be able to make the items that you need to be able to survive winter in. So I've just got to look really hard for those suspicious dirt piles and try to get a hunt going if I can manage it. Uh Oh. Pig people. Or a pig man, at least. Oh, those are the trees on the thing. Oh, that's unsettling. Yeah, those are the pingles. Uh they drop the rotten eggs that you need for the most useless item in the entire game. But, you know, generally they're okay. They don't, like, actively try to murder you that hard, if that helps. So, um, not having any luck with those suspicious dirt piles. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I'm going to leave that alone. I don't need that in my life. Um... Oh, cross sections with... Oh, a graveyard. How lovely. Oh, crap. Yeah, I remember seeing this in uh, the thing about Rainer Giants. There are hound areas where hounds spawn. This isn't good. Not great. Um, oh, there's desert. That's where I'm at. Why don't you just leave me alone, dude? I mean, I've been running away for like a million miles. Oh, God. He's still after me. Well, actually, he's after Chester now. Oh, man, this turned out real bad. This is not great. Oh, I'm at, and I'm getting cold. Oh man, this is not good. This is the kind of situation where you would death spiral. You know, that sort of really bad spiral that can happen where you just keep letting bad things happen and you ultimately die because you can't stop any of it. Um, why are the tumbleweeds making noises at me? Okay, now I can run away. Whew, I'm going nuts. 
Well, at least we'll be able to see some nice sanity. I mean, insanity effects. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get back to my house, but maybe I can get away from these guys. Never know. Hopefully we won't die, but you never know. We may. <laughs> I would hate for that to happen. I mean, it's only day 21. But, uh, I'll be fine. Anyway, so we wanted them to meet, so it wouldn't be weird for them to ride together in rides and stuff. But, um... So far it's being a little hard. She's having her going away party and that's what we tried to get him to go to. But he really didn't have the ability at the time to go. Um, oh crap, I have nothing. Um, all I needed some wood for that though, so maybe I can get to the woods. Oh, uh, beefalo are in mating season whenever their butts are uh, glowing red with sexual energy. Like whenever that's set up, they're usually in mating season. And it's a little more dangerous to be around them because they will just accidentally straight up murder you. Well, I mean, it's not accidental for them, but, you know, they will murder you. Um, okay, there's a big one. Whew. Hopefully we're not in the death spiral. That would suck. But, um... Anyway, so it's a little difficult. And uh, the whole process has been very odd for me. Because it's a very, like... My girlfriend has been very... Unsupportive of me. Sorry, the cat was there. Um... Been un very unsupportive of my ability to take care of the situation. So, you know, it's not great. But, um, I mean, at least it's been going. Things haven't been 100% awful, I guess. It's been a little fun being, uh, you know, a matchmaker. But, uh, it's been very odd, especially with, um, you know, because we got a picture of him, we sent it to her, and then, uh, my girlfriend and her friend spent, like, 20 minutes trying to pick out a picture to send to him, and, uh, eventually they settled on the picture that she uses for her Facebook profile, which is very odd. Because, you know, if he did any sort of searching, he would almost immediately find that face. But, you know, it is what it is. Man, hopefully we can find um, a suspicious dirt pile. Otherwise, we are not going to do well in winter. Oh, yeah. Various winter effects. It's um, snowing right now, as you can tell. And the pond have frozen over. I'm not really sure like what happens with that if the uh, fish in them die or something but you know oh my sanity is really low hey, back off unfortunately when you get super insane um charlie the uh, shadow monster that'll kill you if you ever stay in the dark will begin to try to um take your fire but i guess he's not for some reason. Oh, there he is. Oh god. Back off. Back off. You basically have to fight their hands to keep away from your fire because they'll steal your fire. It's very annoying. We need to find some... Okay, good. Oh, thank god. Oh, good. Man, we are finding everything right now. This is great. Okay, so, went this way. You follow the tracks, and eventually you'll find the koala fent. And, um, your job is to murder it. Because you need both its trunk and, um, the meat, naturally. Uh, grab that niter. Okay, there it is. 
if we come across any berries or stuff like that, we will attempt to grab them because they are heavily necessary for living. Okay, still this way. Okay, good. I can see it right there. Can't get it off screen, otherwise it'll probably despawn. But right now, we got flowers, we got suspicious dirt piles, and as long as you follow it, you'll eventually come across it. Okay. Oh, come on. Right through the middle. There it is. Okay, come on. Okay, just keep moving. Uh, hopefully it won't try to kill us if we get it far enough away. Even though it seems like the hunt may kill us before anything else. Okay. Man, this one's leading us on a merry old chase. Okay. You gotta be finding it pretty soon. So, there it is. You die! Oh man. Oh yes! Got the meat! Okay. We've got to get back. We've got to start. Okay, I can't do it like that. That's weird. Okay, we're really far away, but if we really hurry and we keep to it, we should not die. Okay, just keep to the road as long as I can see it, and we should be able to get back. A-OK, -okay. you know, death abated. Anyway, so... He was interested, she was interested, he couldn't make it to her party, so everybody's a little bummed out, but he may be able to make it to the um, other, like, party thing that we have planned. We're going to take her bowling, because she loves bowling. And, um, oh, oh god, ah, god, I can't, like, start a fire, um, I may have to set up here tonight. Yeah, I'm going to have to set up here tonight. Probably burn my poop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I have to set up here tonight. That's not great, but um, it works. Cook these berries and eat them. Yeah, um, if you stay in the cold too long, you will uh, freeze to death. Which I guess for him is just um, the mechanisms. Anyway, so you need the coelophant trunk and um, quite a bit of spider silk and you'll be able to make a jacket for the winter. It'll keep you at least a little bit warm. Not too much really, like it won't save your life or anything, but it'll work out for you a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more wood. Okay, so we got quite a bit. Actually, do you have anything, Chester? You have stuff. Um, I'm going to try to make a run for the house. And try to live. You know, because that's very important. Anyway, um, I may do something desperate. If you burn a grass tuft, it's about as good as a... Um, like a board. As far as that goes. It's pretty good. Pretty great. Okay, murder. Just. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll have to end it here. Uh, this notion of oceans. Signing off. And we're gonna see how long we can survive. Things are getting interesting. 
and winter has come.